Welcome to Ortho Eval Pal, where we help you build confidence in your orthopedic evaluation and management skills. Hello, everybody. This is Paul from Ortho Eval Pal. I thought I'd do another little how to video today on reflex testing of the lower extremity. Um, I'd like to thank Vicki for being my patient today and, uh, and model and uh, really appreciate all of your help. Uh, Vicki has been a great patient. She's the type of gal who does. You know, whatever you tell her, and uh, and she's a very, very uh, compliant patient. So uh, she's here just for a checkup today. And what I want to talk about is, again, reflex testing. As I did in the last video, I talked a little bit about the hammer weight. That has to be adequate, okay? If the hammer is too soft or too light, you're not going to be able to gain momentum before you strike the tendon in order for the tendon to get the stretch to make the muscle react and then have that stretch reflex loop, okay? So, hammer should be heavy enough. When you do your test, it's a nice strike and it should bounce off of the patient. Right at the patella tendon, this is L4. And then when we do the Achilles, that's S1. I try to get the patient to relax a little bit. I pull the toe up lightly and I'll strike the Achilles tendon. And there's a good one, okay? now. If the patient is hyperreflexive, I'm going to take the patient's shoe off and do a Babinski test. And I'm also going to do a Hoffman's test. If she's hyperreflexive here and hyperreflexive in the upper extremity, um, some people just are hyperreflexive. But if they have a positive Hoffman's test and a positive Babinski sign, which I'll be doing how to's on soon, um, you have to be somewhat suspicious of an up upper motor neuron lesion. So. If I'm not, or if you're not able to get a good Achilles reflex, and many people have a hard time with that because the patient doesn't relax very well and they try to hold the foot up, I will then place them on a chair. So Vicky, if I could have you over here. You're gonna put both knees on the chair, you hold onto the back, and now they really don't know when you're going to be striking them, okay? And then I'll just hold the toe a little bit and I'll give a strike, and they can never really fight this one. And you can see right there, we get a really nice reflex. And that's how I would do the alternate S1 uh, testing. So I would sit right back on the table. So if you have any questions uh, about uh, reflex testing, uh, catch us uh, at our website at www.orthoevalpal.com. And I uh, hope to see you at the next video. Thanks. We hope you've enjoyed this video. And for more awesome content, go to orthoevalpal.com. Can't wait to see you there.